How to get a better squat. Three things. First off, whenever your cell phone goes off, ring, ring, you pick it up and you get into a squat position because what else are you going to do? You're just going to stand there? No, why not when you're on your cell phone, work on your range of motion when it comes to the squat and here's how you do it. Toes pointing to the front, just kind of lean to the front, stick your butt out, now put your elbows on the insides of your knees. Now if you watch my lower back, my lower back has to be straight, okay? Well, at first you might not be able to get your heels on the ground, you might be right here, that's fine. But what I want you to do is get used to this position right here, squat position. Because in countries where they squat down a lot, where they eat off the ground or where they just watch TV like this or talk to each other like this, they don't have any hip disease, they don't have any lower back pain. Um, because this is what your body is supposed to be able to do. Problem is, if you're in your car often or if you sit down a lot, all these muscles get tight. So you want to make sure that you do this about two, three, four, five minutes a day. When's the better time than when you're on the phone and you're just squatting down and nobody knows, unless you do it in public, that looks weird. So just do it at home, hang out right here. If you want to make it a little better, you can raise one elbow up, go to the all the way out, do it with the other hand, straight up, make sure you don't raise your phone up in the air because then you can't hear you anymore. But the most important thing is try to keep the lower back straight. That's the first thing you can do. Second thing is to do what's, what I call your high heel remedy. You get on a curve, I'm just gonna go outside real quick. You put your foot on a curb right here. And this is something you can do when you're pumping gas. Gas takes about, what, five minutes or something? Put your foot on a curb, hold on to something, time yourself. Make sure you do this for about two minutes each leg. Lock your legs out, feel it in your calves, your foot's all the way up, and that's it. Just kind of rotate a little bit. You can get your heel involved by get, getting into it like that. Because most of us have tight calves. When we sleep, our calves get tight. Also. Some people in America, believe it or not, they wear high heels. High heels are detrimental to your calves, and your calves are very important to your squat. The last thing is if you sit down for a long time during the day, is that your hip flexors, which is right here, they're gonna get really tight because your knees are up all the time. So what I want you to do is this. This is a very painful stretch, but for some reason it's only painful the first time. So what I want you to do is get on your knees against the wall, put your fists on the ground, Get your shoelaces against the wall, put your knee in the corner where the wall meets the ground. Then you put your foot up right here and just open it up. Boom, just put your hands on your hips. Now if you can't do this at first, that's fine. Just work yourself up to it. But you want to be able to hold this for about one minute. When you're here, try to squeeze your butt together. You're really going to feel it. You can raise your hand up in the air. What that does is it opens everything up in the front side. Boom, one minute each side. If you do all that, you're gonna be so supple, combine it with a rumble roller, and your squat form is gonna be so much better. You can go all the way down below parallel, and when you squat below parallel, guess what happens? You get a nicer butt.